Orlando, Florida. Family Vacation 2022. First stop is a local gem, Palacampo. Puerto Rican home cooking. Be sure to not watch this video on an empty stomach because it gets really, really tasty. Oh, and by the way, one of the game changers of the year for me. So we here at Pal Campo. Off top, the... You know what that means? No, what does Pal Campo mean? Pal Campo means to the countryside. To the countryside. We are to the countryside. The girl at the hotel recommended because I, I asked her like, yo, um, we just touched down, we starving, but we don't want to go to any tourist traps. Where do the locals go? I said, I said it like that specifically. She said actually down the block, it's uh, where the Dollar General's at, there's Palo Campo. And I didn't know what to expect, but I'll tell you what, the ambiance here, the colors, popping, popping. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Puerto Rico right now. Bacalaitos. Baca oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Bacalaito. Yeah, I've had this recently. Bacalaito. Appetizer. Oh. Wow. It's like fish. This is so good. I'm gonna do it in a uh, mayo ketchup. This right here, go hard in the paint. Do the, uh, this is a sausage right here. Ooh, this is a whole meal. That's sausage. The herbs, the herbs in the sausages. This is a patalillo empanada. What, what is it? Empanada. These appetizers are so fresh. I mean, I've said it before. Puerto Rican food, when it's done right, whether it's in the hood or whether it's fine dining, Puerto Rican food is elite, top class. Mozzarella stick, what is this? Oh, gosh. Kind of like cornbread. Kind of like cornbread in a way, right? Mayo ketchup. Mm. That's spicy. Wow. This is spicy. Like, this, this caught me off guard. It wouldn't be a, a Puerto Rican spot if they didn't have avocado. The entrees make their grand entrance. Seafood mix, big pork chop, and the Pal Campo stuffed chicken filled with sweet plantains, cream cheese, guava sauce wrapped in bacon. Feast your eyes on that. Oh my God, look at that, y'all. Look at the presentation on the cutting board. I really am in awe. Thank you. Octopus, Octopus shrimp, shrimp, lobster, lobster. 
Look, it just takes up the whole entire table. Let me show you the details on the chicken. Uh, let's do this, let's do this. I want y'all to see this stuffed chicken. Can y'all see? It smells amazing. Oh. Oh, I could just do that. It's wrapped in bacon. Let's try this out. Oh. Oh. Even the rice too? You wanna try this? Bruh, this chicken tastes like rice too. The rice still retains a nice moisture. It's fluffy. This is insane. like chicken is tender it's moist but that cream cheese adds a nice element of just creaminess and like as a fullness to the chicken the chickens is already seasoned pretty good the bacon adds flavor and flavor pop and the guava like a fantastic dish i'm gonna pass that on to my wife that's one of the best chicken i ever had delicious Delicious. Customer service is great too. So I don't know what the plan of attack here is. Look how big this is. Woo! Bruh. That's the pork. Still steaming. I'm gonna expect crunchiness an ultimate savoriness. What are we gonna do the vinegar onions too, right? This is vinegar onions? What is this called? Cheers. I honestly wanna shed a tear. I wanna shed a tear. That pork, the skin is still crunchy. I'll try it. Onions give it a nice acidity, but the pork, that skin is remains crunchy. I gotta put in that hot sauce. Their hot sauce is legit hot sauce. Look at this plate. Insane. Try to get some of the pork. Just like that. The meal will not be complete without an avocado. Got the avocado in there. I guess if you Puerto Rican, or if you grew up on Puerto Rican food, you already know what this tastes like right here. I'm getting full too, but I'm gonna try the seafood. Let me get some of that chicken. Let me get some more of that chicken. 
You know what, why not? I'm in a good mood. We on vacation. I'm gonna say that chicken. One of the game changers of the year for me. Yeah. That chicken. I didn't think that I was gonna like it because I normally don't like that other chicken. Hey, that's Sarge. So yeah, there you have it. The game changer title is not dead. They just got to earn it. Y'all got to earn it, game changer. I'd say you have to come to Orlando to try out this Puerto Rican stuffed cream cheese guava chicken to know what I'm talking about. Because this, my friend, is elite. It is a... Uh, I can eat all of that and not have no worries. It is a seafood dish. The plantains. How does it stay crunchy like that? It's like super crunchy. Ah. There's a big lobster tail in here. Like, how am I supposed to eat this? Mmm. This is good. But it ain't my favorite. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. This is like for seafood purists. I'm not really a seafood purist like that. I mainly like my seafood deep fried. Like you have to love lobster. You have to love like all this other stuff being steamed and love that texture. I don't know, love the flavor of it. Cause it's really like lime juice. Just a pure dish. And it's cool. This to me is more like an appetizer. The chicken. The chicken is a game changer. The pork is delicious. Yeah, there you have it, man. Um, Pal Campo. For anyone visiting Orlando, you don't want to be at the, uh, you know, the fast food chains or all the other chains. My God, they they knocked it out the park. From amb ambiance, from the whole uh, aesthetics, the environment, the customer service, the food. Two thumbs up, man. This place knocked it out the park. Shout out to all my Puerto Ricans again. I'm gonna wrap up this video. I'm gonna finish my drink, psych. And I'll see you on the next episode.